Hey, Denarland, today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. This is from Restored Republic via GCR, compiled by Judy Byington. Okay, Judy noted, the GCR RV shotgun release, where everyone went at once, was imminent and now under control of an automatic algorithm sequence. Thursday, May 7th, was the end, of pack end for package deliveries, and Tier 4B start through releasing emails and SafeLink websites. If the deadline was not met, new contracts would have to be signed between 209 participating countries of the Global Currency Reset and World Bank. At any moment forward between now and Thursday, May 7th, over 500,000 plus 800 number notification emails were expected to go out hit email inboxes. The timing was dependent upon agency cooperation and barring unseen obstacles. Tier 4B redemption exchanges for contract rates had a goal to complete by Friday, the 15th of May. They would push up the rest in the following days so that the IMF could start the general public exchanging foreign currencies and local banks at the new international rates around June 1st. Okay, from Fleming Military Intel contact at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, number one, he said he had to be tight-lipped because the shotgun start release was still imminent. Number two, final audits, security, administrative, legal, and account audits, etc. have been going on all day, Wednesday, May 6, and teams have been working out coordination of logistical issues globally, of package deliveries, and payouts across all 27 payout categories. Number three, Thursday, May 7th, was the end of 11 days that they had to get all package deliveries done. Over 1 million CMKX, PP, F, and P's, etc., and Tier 4B started by releasing the emails and SafeLink websites so that redemptions and exchanges could get started. Number four, Judy Shelton was taking over the Fed on Monday or Tuesday, 11th through 12th of May, and we had to be started before then. Number five, the Zurich Bank said that the RV GCR final release with liquidity has started and was this week. Number six, at the first appointment, there was 140 million cap from our redemption exchange proceeds that they would put in an account with a debit card attached for us to spend until our second appointment. At our second appointment, which would be two to ten days after the first appointment, we would get the balance get to balance if we don't pursue higher contract rates. Number eight, if we wanted higher contract rates, then we would present our project outlines to the wealth manager and trust company team get higher rates and access to the balance of our redemption proceeds. Number nine, all would be explained at the first appointment and they would help us with this process. They wanted us to have higher rates as it would give their bank and trust company more money to help us manage. Okay, Fleming update from May 6 at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Number one, late uh, last night, our military contact said any argument between those in control had been resolved and they could not stop the release sequence without huge global consequences. Number two, anti-RV obstructionists were not prevailing. The RV was under the release sequence algorithm, audits, and legal agreements, 200-plus contracts governed by the World Court. Number three, on Tuesday, May 5th, the Admiral finished what he needed to do for liquidity release. Number four, we were about to receive 800 notifications anytime into Thursday, the 7th of May. Number five, as tier four A's began, CMKX and prosperity package deliveries would also begin and historic bonds would start exchanging and getting paid out. Okay, Restored Republic update. On Thursday, April 30th, President Trump signed an executive order instigating martial law and the next day on Friday, May 1st, activated the International Emergency Economic Powers Act and the National Emergency Act. As of that same May 1st, 2020, the U.S. returned to constitutional law. Globally, JASARA was established and started legally and financially through debt forgiveness to African nations and other countries. JASARA was expected to be announced in the U.S. on Dep Independence Day, 4th of July, 2020. JASARA NASARA would be fully implemented over the next three to six months through about November 2020. And that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in.